In this video I'll show you how to connect a portable monitor like this one or any other brands to your Mac Mini M4. This is quite practical, it's quite light and it does not require any power cable. So let's get started. First of all those monitors always come with a uh, USB Type-C cable and it's quite important to use the USB Type-C cable that came with them. I tested many different cables with this monitor and the one that came in the box with it was the most reliable one. If you lost yours, I'll put a link in the description for a USB Type-C cable that is actually compatible with external monitor. Not all of them are. Alright, so the first step is to actually turn on your Mac Mini. Simply click on the power button down below, wait about 5-10 seconds, it's quite quick to power on. Then it's time to connect the cable. The Mac Mini has these two USB Type-C ports in the front and three other ones in the back. It does not matter which one you choose. These external monitors are not using the HDMI cable. They're almost all of them are using a USB Type-C. So go ahead and connect it, let's say over there. And now it's time to connect it to the monitor that does not require any power. That's the good point about it. So over here, I'll connect it. Right away, the monitor should turn on. Now, if we take a look on the actual monitor, we can change some settings. So go ahead and click on the Apple logo on the top left corner and then select system. This will open and then in the list on the left side over here, you need to go down and select displays. Here you're gonna have the display you have connected. This is the model of it and you're gonna have different resolutions available to you. Uh, you can click on them and it will give you a preview. Let's say you prefer big icons. You can simply click on them to change. I prefer the original one. Then over here you have color profile and if you click on it you're going to have multiple color profiles. Um, what does it mean? It's, it will try to give you the most accurate colors representation. And uh, again depending on which uh, display you have, well each displays have their own specific colors let's say like that. You can try those presets that are already built in into your Mac Mini. But you can also click on customize and you'll go through a process where you're going to calibrate the screen. So again, it gives you the most accurate colors. Then you have the refresh rate. Most external displays are rated at 60 hertz. Maybe yours is 30 hertz. Obviously 60 is much better. And then you have rotation because maybe your screen you maybe you prefer using your screen in vertical mode like this let me put it there in that case i'll click on 90 degrees it's a bit hard in this case i can click 90 degrees and the screen will be in vertical mode which is quite cool and you can revert if you don't like it or confirm and keep using it this way. So maybe for coding, you prefer having this screen orientation. This is how you change it. Now I put it back the way it was. And if you want to use another monitor, maybe a regular one like this one I have over here that connects using HDMI, you just have to connect it in the HDMI port in the back while the other one is connected. And you'll have two monitors. The Mac Mini can actually support three monitors depending on their resolution. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.